Hi, hi, Shepard's Pie. Greetings from the Philippines. The beach bums are back. And to be honest with you, this may well be our last episode. But uh, we're going to give it a try. But these are old men. But they're acting like kids. Apart from Paul. He's Mr. Mature. Um, and uh, he's only a middle-aged man. Anyway, we're back. We're in a different venue today. We are in uh, Shells. Which is a... Um, not a bad little bar on the end of Pullerton Beach. Um, I've decided to stay out of this one today because uh, I can't fit you in the camera, I can't fit in the screen and uh, these men are far better looking than me. So uh, I'll just um, so look uh, look at this belief on Paul's face. <laughs> <laughs> so, we're back here now to answer your questions and uh, we've got some. And the first one, in no particular order, obviously, it's the first one because I got it with a bit of paper. So this comes from Melvis Zero. Nice name. Yeah. Very nice name. Which uh, nationality in the Philippines do you find to be the most rowdy? American. Right. Oh, okay. I'm saying I'm, I'm gonna. We're gonna do this one at a time. Some of them I might throw out. We'll do this one at yeah. a time. So you go first, CJ. American, American. is it? Really? Okay, you can expand on that, or no, just you just American. Well, I think you should expand on it because I think sixty-five percent of my viewership are American, so I'm not going to have that for one second. I think Americans are fucking fantastic. What are you basing your opinion on, apart from Canadian jealousy? Well, we're not jealous of America. Fuck. We're jealous of America. Okay, like so if you're if you okay, fine. So if you're saying that Americans are rowdiest people you met in the Philippines, yeah, give causing it, all the trouble. Give us some examples. Mark Thornton. Oh God, Dexter Meyer. <laughs> God. Do you want me to continue? How is how is Mark Thornton causing you problems? He's causing a fight. He's causing a problem for all expats. Well, it takes two to make a fight. Because it lumps everybody into one uh, one pool. But it takes two. But it's always the Americans getting everybody into trouble. Well, no Americans got me into trouble. Look anyway, at the four guys six seven months ago. They all piled up, three Americans pile up on the Canadian guy. The only thing is they forgot that the Canadian guy was in the forces for 20 some years and it takes four Americans to try and beat up one Canadian forces guy. And the Canadian guy beat the shit on all three Americans. When did this happen? Six, seven months ago. Where? In uh, Bacon, other side of Bacon, between Bacon and... Okay, uh, well, there you go. Yeah. I never heard about that. My, my, uh, my... Americans cause all problems for the Xbox. Just the way I see it. In the Philippines. In the Philippines. Okay, Paul. Well, I'm gonna say it's more evenly distributed than than that. I, I think I've seen a little bit bother from many nationalities, European, American, um, Filipinos, everyone. Uh, I'll say Americans maybe the 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 loudest, but I'm not not necessarily say the most troublesome because I've seen two fights here and twice it's involved Frenchmen. But at the same time, I don't think Frenchmen are all that violent either. I think it's just a clash of cultures here. So sometimes, because um, Italians and and French, they use gestures a bit more to communicate. And maybe that doesn't go down well with uh, the local communication styles. They'll point fingers and all that. And it's all, it might be all friendly, but I think there's a, a communi communication problem, especially with uh, with uh, Latin Europe. So that's that's what I'd say. But yeah. Americans, yeah, they can be a bit loud, but. I know a few loud English people as well, so it's, you know, there's, there's bother everywhere. There's bother everywhere. I have seen, oh, actually, I did, I did, I did, I did, I did <laughs> a couple of months ago, I did see a Welsh guy lose his shit in uh, Rumbar, and that was impressive, and that took some calming down. So, we're, we're all guilty of it, I think, all nationalities, but, yeah, I, I think also coming out here at a place like this, it attracts the it attracts a few hot heads anyway, so you're gonna you're gonna get that anyhow. But uh, you get a short temper. Yeah, you, you got a short temper. There's a few people. Philippines, if you get a short, short temper, temper yeah. and short temper, it's gonna get you at the bottom here real quick. Yeah. Well, I'll give you I'll, I'll give I'll give you my view on this in a second. So, uh, what do you what what do you say, Ray? Mate, I as you know, I'm, I don't get out and about late. I'm a, I'm an early drinker and, and I'm home early. But from what I've seen so far, I'll endorse CG's comments on on American. Just hold on one second. CJ, if you could stop leaning in, just move a little bit, because I've got all your red and I've got none of Ray's head. So if Ray moves in just a little bit more and CJ moves a little bit up, we'll have, we'll have a good pitch. That, that's better. That's perfect. That's perfect. Yeah, yeah. I wasn't expecting more of Ray's head tonight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you give me head. Uh, 
no. But he's but he's but he's good at that. He's good at that. <laughs> no, no, I no, I'll endorse Suzuki's comments from what I've seen so far, so from just yeah, the odd American, you know. That's, uh, yeah, but are you talking about in Siki Hall, or are you talking about in Dumaguete? I'm talking about Siki Hall. Yeah, but mate, we've only got experience of certain places. We've not been to a lot oh, of the places over here. Well, yeah. See, the problem I've got with his, with, his, with his question is, I don't think there are. It's like when I was in Thailand, you could say point blank the Russians, because when I lived in the tourist place, there was a big, a big, you know, uh, percentage Russians. Here, it's such an even split. An even split there yeah. isn't like a, a, a number of people no. who you could say. I've met a couple of right punchy Italians. I've met a couple of right punchy Americans. A couple of Eastern Europeans, I don't know. They're the only yeah. people I've had trouble. I don't know why, but there isn't really. You couldn't no, say in Dumaguete, you could say there's such yeah. a big American community. But in City Hall, I think it's a hard question to answer. To be honest I think with you. also here in City Hall, um, whatever nationality you are, you do tend to integrate. So you don't see yourself as the the American gang or the French gang. Or yeah, yeah, because it's, it's, it's everyone's yeah. together. But I think just sometimes the communication problems might lead to uh, someone using gestures like wait, British don't do that, and I think we carry the less problems because of it. What you say, uh, Italians and Spanish, and just the way they talk, and I think you see the you see the Filipinos sometimes like wince, and I think, oh shite, uh, yeah, yeah, there's yeah. something more happening than there is. Yeah. I, I don't think there's any. I don't think there's any national, any international problems here with any particular group. Yeah, but it's like as, as you know, like I only frequent two or three places. You know, and I'm not a, I'm not a late night drinker. I'm home by eight thirty, nine o'clock. I haven't. I, I've been to get wrecked once, and there's and there's a heap of Aussies there. They might be trouble mate. You know, like, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, it's, it's not really, to be honest with you, um, Melvin, uh, Melvis Zero, it's not really a rowdy place. Everyone's here, like, quite happy. I, 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 I know Most what you're getting at. In some places, on, yeah. you could say, like, there's a certain thing. Yeah. A lot of countries in the world, you say it's the English. Yeah. But um, it ain't here. It's not not, not here. No. And over America, they, uh, not America, over in Dumaguete, you've got a big American uh, contingent, but a lot of them drink coffee and don't go out, and they like frown on people drinking that, so it, it, it's a difficult question to answer, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to add one to this. Which nationality have you found the most easy going and the easiest to get on over here with other than the Filipinos? Other than the Filipinos? I'll repeat that question because a car went by. Yeah, obviously we're not including Filipinos, we're talking okay. about tourists and expats. Which nationality have you found, as a rule, the best Just that you met? Well, it's sick you all do me get you or whatever, you know. Well, it's sick everybody. Fine. I've been surprised by how many Dutch people I've met lately, and yeah, those, are, those are really easy to get along, and they just want to have a, a nice evening and have no problems. So, yeah, yeah. But, but the Dutch are known for that in yeah. the UK anyway, they're very, very okay, peace loving people, so. Okay. Yeah. But, what about you, Raymondo? Yeah, uh, mate, from my <laughs> experience, and I'll, I'll only talk about Tiggy Hall, and um, I'm not going to piss in anyone's pocket, but. Uh, People from the UK and Scotland, and my favourite people. Right, well, good. No, going and friendly people, yeah. Canadians are awesome. Oh, Canadians. Yeah, I've met a lot of Canadians. Well, I've met a lot of Canadians. Oh, I have too. Commonwealth countries, you're going to get on, aren't we? Well, I appreciate those words, Ray, because I've got what I'm about to say, and I'm not going to try and blow smoke up your ass, but my favourite's been the Australians. You can if you want to. My favourite's been the Australians. Yeah, they their finger on the prostate to really have fun. Yeah. Well, you learn more about CG every day, don't you? But, yeah, um, but, but, but Simon, Australians and, and, and people from the UK and Great Britain, they've got a lot in common. Yeah, we right. have got a lot in common. We've got, we've got, we've got virtually the same sense of humour. We all like a drink. You know, we all like a good time. And, um, sure. and we took, we, we, yeah, like, I've, I've, I've met and worked with a lot of, a lot of, uh, English people in Australia. But, I mean, don't get me wrong, I don't like to get wrecked, but I'm not a fan of the owner over there, and I'm not saying we're just, we're just different people, you know, that's kind of thing. But I don't think I've met a Canadian, an Australian that I thought, you know, I've met some good Australians over here. They seem to assimilate well, they seem to like have a good laugh and that. Um, so, yeah, I mean, yeah. But it's not really much in the way of travel, is there? So, I mean, no, but, I think, but I think I'm the best. It's Oh, you are, mate. You oh, are. You are. Right. You, are. Oh, you, are. The you are the best. I've ever seen. I tell you, oh, now, you, are the, you are the best Australian sat at this table by a long way. Yeah. <laughs> but, but trouble is always accompanied by alcohol here. So uh, usually, I don't think anybody's coming out with the intention to cause bother. Yeah. But when alcohol is involved, some people can take it better than others. And, yeah, uh, really yeah and that's it. They go off the rails and. 
Yeah, but you yeah. know why that is? I mean, there's the reality of a place like this. It's not like Spain or whatever. You, you, you basically got, and it's going to make me sound like a snob. I am a working class man. I'm proud to be a working class man. Um, but most of the backpackers not come here. They're middle class. They're educated, yeah. you know. So the backpackers come here for the experience. Yeah, they like to have a party, but they're coming to see the waterfall, so they're coming to see the beach. Most of the expats are at a certain age. They... Um, They've got all the old fighting out of their system or whatever. Mm. So you don't have that kind of trouble over here. You get the occasional arsehole. Um, we've had a few of them over the last few months, but they stick out because they're arseholes. It's not, it's, yeah. it's not the norm, you know, and they get, it's, it's yeah, just not that kind of place. reputation really carries quickly here, like uh, everybody soon finds out. And and yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, taken, it's taken me about four months to build Paul's reputation back up because <laughs> he, he, he was like, he, he couldn't get in anywhere, but he's not like that. He likes to have a drink. He's a big man, you know, just, just he, he's all right. Okay. All right. He's a good man. He's a good <laughs> man. He's <laughs> like a brother. That's all you heard. all right. Right then, this is a question from a good mate, Glenn. Um, I'm reading this on paper, so I, so I've I've I've, I've sh there's a bit shorthand. They're not word for word because uh, I can't. My eyesight's so bad. I can't read the Paul's phone very well. So um, what he's basically saying is Glenn's asking is um, as tourism expands over here on this island. Um, do you think it will improve your life or will it be detrimental to your lives as expats over here? Is it going to make the island better or is it going to piss on your parade, basically, is the question. Well, I'll ask three, no point going around. It's just ask, what, what do I'd you say think? it's a double-edged sword because, yeah, it's, I mean, it's being from the UK where you know what we did to Spain, where like turned it into like Little England, really, with a Red Lion pub on every corner and all that. Yeah, but yeah. Uh, So th there's a downside to it getting too overdeveloped because it loses its yeah. charm but also yeah, yeah, yeah. I think there's some things that maybe a little bit of um, modernization help would, would help with like especially with regards to some western things that would take for granted like uh, card payments because they, uh, everything is a cash society and you're, you're really struggling to get change just from a bar sometimes so there's little things that and I think also yeah. if um, it was more developed that the change the improve the infrastructure a bit more you'd get that uh, um, uh, energy supply so the brownouts might might stop um it's all about money and the more money that comes into here the more they'll improve the situation but you don't want it to go too far where it is just like any other place so it's a, it's a double-edged sword yeah. my god you're a reasonable man paul very a reason a fair and reasonable man yeah you get too many expats here we go <laughs> this is this is this is the polar opposite <laughs> they will push the price of everything up but he's not talking about expats he's talking about tourism well that's even tourists. No, but tourists are different, aren't they? What he's saying, what he, what he's. You're making your money in the tourist industry is where you're making your money. You're putting prices. Yes, but there is a differential. Money so many days, so many days of the year. But there is a difference between tourists and expats. What he's asking is, as expats who live here, yeah. are the fact that you've got short termers coming in for a few weeks and it gets busy and busy, is that going to cause yeah, a problem? No, no, it's the expats moving is what's going to cause a problem. What do you say, Ray? Um, being a, a typical uh, Siggy Horian lover, I think that... <laughs> lover. That's, 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 that's not a fan. Yeah, Horian lover. No, no, I, no mate, I, mate, I think... I, I, wish think you, I wish you moved to Lesbos, because you could sit and say, I'm a proud lesbian. <laughs> I've I I I seen something on the internet a couple of days ago. Mm. The three most popular islands now in the Philippines. Number one, Boracay, of course. Oh, okay. Number two, Palawan. Number three, oh, Good Old Tegil. So yeah, the joint's booming, and and that's a good thing. It's a good thing for the locals. It's a good thing for jobs. It's a good thing for development. But if it turns into uh, if it turns into a Boracay or Palawan, it, it it'll lose its appeal to me. I'll tell you something now, mate. I think that's bollocks. Not what you're saying. What you've read. There is no way Sikil is busier than Shargal. There is no way that Sikil was busier than Mulbolt. I mean, we've been there. Yeah. Sikil may be doing better, but wherever you've read that, there is not a chance. Okay, no, 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 not, not a was, chance, not a chance. I, I can't think yeah. of any other yeah. islands, but you've got yeah. Bohol, Boracay, Cebu. Yeah. There's yeah. no way no, Shargal. There's, yeah, yeah. there's, there's no way. way. You know how quiet this place is. It's not the part of the pull as well, because it's one of the quieter islands. Exactly. A lot of the, well, not backpackers, they love the party, but 
a lot of your other tourists, like your, your middle-aged couples, they will seek out something like this. Yeah. Uh, over Borakai. Oh, yeah. yeah, the other tourists. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, for sure. I'm going to give my little sixpence now. For me, I'm completely different to these fellas. It's killed it for me, this island. When I first came here, I came here, it wasn't tourist season. And I fell in love with the place, and that's how I want to live here. Now, it's tourist season. It's, um, it, it's, yeah, well, I'm living for the months to go. So if it, if it carries on going like it is, you know, what I used to love about coming here was going down to JJ's and having a laugh and meeting people and that. Now you can't get on the beach, you can't get there. We used to have little parties in the rum bar at night time, like, you know, we'd have like town that. Now it's full of tourists who are banging around and doing stuff and you don't know them because they come and go or whatever. I mean, I sound like a grumpy old man, but for me, if, it, if it's going to, you know, I'll, I'll, I will see out this tourist period and look forward to the next one. But if, if the island's coming like that, then I'm, you can know, I yeah, it's not can a major decision. Can, yeah. I, can I interject? Mate, wait till May, late May, early June. The yeah. place will be completely always, different, mate. I've been here in those times. Yeah, the yeah. Place yeah, but, will but, be... but we, when we, that's what I'm saying to you, when I came here, I came here in September. It yeah. was like the closest, and I loved it, and I've loved it up until yeah. the last couple of months. And it'll be like that again. Yeah, we, we, it, and it, that's why I'm hanging it out, and I'll give it a year. I'm not yeah. complaining. I'm yeah. just, they're asking the question, yeah. would it make a difference to you? Yeah. And I'm saying to me, it make a huge difference. If it was like it is now, all year round, I'd be off like a shot. I'm living for the close season. Yeah. <clears throat> but to be fair, you know, I'd like that in I used to like, you know, the, the time I lived in Patia. First couple of months, it was the high season. I didn't particularly like it. I like the close season. I know it's not fair on the bars and all that yeah, kind of yeah. thing, but for me, I like it when, you know, I like mm. going in places. I know it's to me, knowing everyone, you know, and you can sit and have a chat and that. You go in the bars I used to go and work, 90% of the people, you, you, don't, you know what I mean? You don't know what I mean? It's just, I mean, fair play to them, they're having a good time, but and I'm just answering the question. For no, me, it's no, a problem. To you guys, it's not a problem. But I mean, well, you'll, like, see, you'll see it in a couple of months. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. The place will die. It'll be totally different. Yeah, yeah. I love it here at Christmas, December, and all that kind of stuff, but since it's got busy, the last few months, it's, it, it doesn't do it for me. Yeah. Right. Good. This comes from uh, Skyjacker. It was another regular commentator. Again, I've had to, I've had to shortcut this one again. Um, what he's basically saying is, is there a thing, one thing, that you find is really grating on you since you came to the Philippines, to the, or has wound you up to the extent that it could ultimately, over time, be the thing that makes you uh, go somewhere else? I think I'm answer first, I'll have to think about this. I don't think I have. Not me. No, there's not. Uh, you can always shoot the dogs. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> there's things that irritate you. Yeah, there's but things there's that nothing that's going to push you over the edge. Cockerels going all the time. Um, uh, dogs on the road when you're trying to drive. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. The brownouts, which are a lot better now than they used to be. But these are just. Yeah. They, but to me, these are all just little things. Yeah. 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 It's, it's nothing. There's nothing yeah, else. We can live with them. We can live with them. We know what we can. We know what we expect. Yeah. I can't think like these dogs. I can't think of too much. At all, you know, like the um, the slowness of doing anything, you know, lining up when you go shopping, you go into an office, you've got to take a number and sit down and be number 50 and sit there for two hours, yeah. you know. But apart from that, no, no. you got to realize that when you come here, you're coming to a third world country that's exactly. 50 years behind exactly. everybody else. Yeah. It's not exactly. like yeah. Britain, it's not like North yeah. America. You don't have self checkouts here. Exactly, yeah. You don't have that kind of stuff. A lot of people come here and don't realize that, and that's what really gets it. Like you say, like you say, if you if you well, that get... kind of stuff doesn't piss me off. That, that, that adds to the mystique and adds to like, the flavour of the place. One thing that doesn't really get to me, but I've seen other people work to fly it. They've got a they've got an old-fashioned way of uh, doing the. Uh, you bill at the end of a oh. like a meal or a drink. Yeah. So yeah, at the yeah, end, yeah. You, you might have had, beat the bar six or seven times. You ordered a meal, six different drinks. And then you come up to it, and at the end, you have to wait ten minutes while they go through it and then move it at the camera. Right, yeah. and then do the simple addition and all this, and yeah. it's like a ten-minute wait. That, yeah. I've seen that. I've seen like a lot of backpackers. But the expats aren't so bad because they're used to it. But backpackers, they're thinking, "Come on, come on." Also, what, what pisses me off is the backpackers because they've got this thing here that everybody's going to pay individually for their bloody meal or that, that pisses me off more. The backpackers are, even the tourists, will, will be all, all the tourists will come here and it's like, there'll be about a group of 10 of them eating a meal and all, and then the, the poor lass, she's already got a job on work in this uh, scroll out, 
and then they want to pay for it individually. It's just like how are kids chip in, you know, it's, it's, it's not going to ruin the yeah, bank, you know. Put your money in the so middle of the table in, and so, Yeah, that's what pisses me off. It's not the, it's not the local ways, it's, it's how how Westerners respond to it. Mm. You know what pisses me off? I didn't thought about it now, he's fucking back, excuse my French. <laughs> <laughs> he's back, back. <laughs> No, nah, because they're so bloody tight. You know, I'm a friendly yeah. girl sitting there. You know, yeah. I buy a few drinks for people yeah. or whatever. You never get a bloody drink back or anything. No, then, no. Uh, but they'll sit there and they'll, they'll quite happily, you know, sit there, and they'll sit down and they'll say, oh, you'll buy them a drink. Aye. And they'll sit there for like half an hour and tell you about themselves. The, and the, and just tell you about themselves. The will, and, and then not, they'll leave. They will, <laughs> and, and they'll wait till the last peso of change has been counted out. They want, like, give them like a 5% tip or something or anything like that. It's like, they will wait there and... Uh, we should do a video on backpackers because uh, that's uh, yeah. Not all of them are bad. Some of them are great, but uh, there's, they have this group mentality where they've got to stick together and they've got to, you know, it's, it's just a. It's, it's just, like a motorcycle game. Yeah, 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 yeah. We will not tip. No, he's on we're the, the rebels. With his yeah, we're, again. Yeah. We've done him some favours there with the plural, haven't you? <laughs> 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 um, well, for me, if we're talking about, I mean, yeah, tour, tourism and be too busy. That, 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 that's really pissing me off. But if you're saying, is there one particular thing that will do me in about it? I would have said, no, it will be a combination of things. But I think, and this is not what I thought I was going to go with this, it's the lack of history in the place. Doesn't have the same kind of culture that I've had in other places I've been to. In Thailand, I was there a long time, and I always, every day there would be something different because the culture was so different you know um it I, what i loved about thailand what i loved about cambodia what i love about place i've place i've spent time if every day you'd wake up and you think god i don't know why i'm here but here as time goes on you're thinking it's all the same it's a different culture but it's the same language and it's the same religion and it's the same thing there's there's, there's it, it's just you know i not much surprises me these days and i've been this coming up seven months you know it's yeah. like you know it, 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 that, that I think there will become a time where I might think might as well be back in the UK you know what I mean you know looking for another adventure but yeah. I don't know uh, well have you, have you felt that Paul I haven't felt it one bit no I'm, not I'm really I know what I know what Simon's getting at and he's right like in regards to other countries have a lot of ancient uh, history and culture that's being preserved here unfortunately with the situation with the had with Spain in the middle well not yeah, middle ages late middle ages uh, no. And also, the and, and the and the Americans, um, Americans and Spanish War. Uh, so here, the culture has taken on an American taste with the with the um, the basketball and uh, yep. all these yep. all these things. But at the same time, as much as I can say why that's you, you, we're lacking on the whole culture side, that makes it more accessible as a long term <laughs> uh, place for me because I can speak English um, and even there's a little bit of Spanish that's knocking about, and I can. I can do that better than I could Thai, so it's all right, and it's it, and it's 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 easily accessible. Like um, we're, we're like the same things, you know. So it's it, so culturally, it's not like what you think like an Asian culture is, but at the same time, that's that's a plus for me because it makes it more easier to assimilate. Yeah. Well, it was Spanish, but, uh, well, I think that's the thing. Though. I mean, that, that that was the point of the question, wasn't it? It's um, it's relative to all of us. Yeah. So the, the plus you could take from this, if you're watching this video, there doesn't seem to be one thing that would drive. I mean, a lot of people, yeah. you watch their channels, they'll say like, you know, it's the rubbish or the noise. I thought CG might be the noise for him because he moans the noise oh, incessantly. Um, but Where's your neighbor? It's, it's a plus for the Philippines. There it wasn't one thing that we all turned around and said, ah, it's this, you know. Sick it was, I've got to say, like, I came in from Cebu and got the bus down. So I've only got Cebu really and theater to like compare, but this is by far this is this is clean this is clean oh, it's yeah. a very clean it's compared to very very clean. And, uh, I'm, I, I like that and uh, i think that's why you get so many germans here as well because they're a bit uh, obsessed with the whole um you know bleaching and stuff <laughs> <laughs> but Paul, even, even, when it, even when it's busy it's relatively quite like there's yeah. no traffic yeah uh, you can ride around the place yeah. pretty freely yeah. you know uh, yeah like yeah it's, 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 to me, it's the ideal place. Yeah, yeah. The ideal, the ideal. So we're not going to knock the Philippines in any shape or form, but I am going to do a video in the next few days called The Five Things I Hate About the Philippines, because there are five things, and um, no point going for them now, but each one of those could ultimately be why I would, 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 would go somewhere else, but that's, that, that's for a different video, but yeah.
it's interesting that the four of us are here and we've all got different takes and there's not one thing so that tells it's it's, it's, it's all a personal you know it's, it's down to an individual you know what 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 you dislike or whatever another thing about uh, having the american influence here that love billiards or what we call back home pool so I, I love that about them. Do they call it billiards here? They call it billiards. All, all Q sports is billiards here. Really? Saying UK billiards is the three ball. Yeah. You know, but here it's, uh, yeah. You see, I mean, you see, I like pool, and I think you want to go swimming. See, yeah, I tell, now, now, now you say that, you're going off on a tangent. Thailand, they love their snooker. Snooker. Oh, I've not seen a snooker table over there. There's not one. I checked it before I come because I, I love snooker, and there's not even a, a snooker table in the whole of the Philippines. There's not even one in Manila. So mm. uh, yeah, but uh, because they like ball. Oh yeah, eight ball, they play eight ball, they don't play much nine ball, they've got a game called 63, which is a bit of a, a carry on, but they're all very good players, they, they love it. It's like good, not as good as you. Yeah, they're getting there, I'll, I'll, I'll train them up. <laughs> Just throwing them out, yeah. You won't believe this, but Paul's actually bloody good at pool. I'm, 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 mostly, I'm mostly lucky. He's close to being professional standard. I've never seen him play snooker, so I do not know. I wasn't as good but as But I would love him to come to Thailand with me, but he won't do it. Because although the old uh, red light horns like Patia and uh, Bangkok, um, Nana Plaza and Sal Cowboy and that, they're not my thing. The bar girls there can play pool. No. <laughs> they, they, you would love playing pool with them, because they... They make more money beating hustling than, 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 than anywhere else. Um, I think Ray's still with us. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah no, I'm just, I'm just checking your messages. Yeah, yeah. No. Don't, don't worry, he won't be coming back. No. Um, <laughs> the, the, uh, He's a heartbreaker. Oh, uh, the question I've got, uh, the question we got now, and I am sorry to my good friend to uh, put the uh, question on there. I say my good friend in like, you know, I appreciate supporting the channel. We don't actually know each other. Um, but I can't find it now, so I can paraphrase what your question was. But um, if you had to, for whatever reason, you run out of money, war, whatever, you didn't specify a reason, would you be able to go back to your home country and assimilate back to normal life easily, or would it be difficult for you? I'll start off with it. Uh, Are you with us? For me, <laughs> yes, I'm back. For me, easily. Easily, but I don't want it. No, but if you had to, you could do it, okay? If I had to, I could do it. Yeah. Wouldn't affect your happiness or whatever? Um, I wouldn't be happy. Yeah, maybe to a certain extent, you know. Um, I'd rather be here than anywhere else. Yeah, I'm... Uh, what, in shells? Rather, huh? what, your shells now? Or are you looking at the bigger picture? That's better than home. Jiggy home, but, <laughs> but, from, but, but from tomorrow, 6 or 8 a.m., I'd rather, I'd rather be where I'm going in Cebu. Are you going to Cebu tomorrow? Yeah, yeah. I thought you were going to see that bird in Manila first. No, you're not. <laughs> no. <laughs> you're not going to see Wendy? That's, That's what happens when you play with your phone. No, I put the knife she's in. She's done and dusted. <laughs> Again, bird is female in Cockney. Yeah, um, right, Paul, what about you, son? I, I think I could manage it. Um, but I don't, as a same as well, I, I don't want to. Yeah. So, yeah, I could, I could have gone back any time. Um, yeah. And to be honest, if there's a war break out, that's even less reason to go back because I don't want to fight a politician's war um, so yeah. there you go but uh, not that they put me on the front line anyway well, you get uh, in the bunker, but, but, you know, but, but if I did go back I'd I'm put you on the front line mate target practice <laughs> <laughs> you're first up mate you're the target yeah. Yeah. you're the first, you're the first line yeah. but I think that's it I mean if, if you can if you can come from the UK and survive out here you can easily survive going back you know what I mean it's it's, it's uh, this is the this is a complicated step coming out here Going back to the UK, everything's automated for you anyway. So if you, you just fit, fit back in, yeah. you're just another you're just another cog. I, 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 that's that's one of the reasons why I want to get out. What about you? Well, we haven't asked them. We haven't oh, we, we, we haven't asked the manager about the fucking going to rant about Canada. Could you go back, CG, and assimilate? I could go back, but me and authoritarian regimes just don't get along. No, we're talking about going back to Canada. That's where I'm going. Yeah, that's where communist I'm Canada. Going. I fucking hate that country. Okay. I fucking hate it with a passion though. So I would probably go back, but I would probably sneak over to the north and go to Russia or something. Well, uh, they'd kill you. Um, my, 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 my advice to you, CG, is when you go back in a couple of months oh, no, again. No, 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 seriously, I'm serious now because you feel so strongly about it and you're not getting a pension from Canada anyway. Why That's don't true. you go back, get your passport sorted out, oh, come back here and go for Filipino citizenship? Then you can yeah, really can say goodbye that. to them. Yeah. Yeah, I can do that. Dye your hair black. 
You can do I it. I thought your head. I'd just get some shoe polish. It's <laughs> but a nugget. <laughs> <laughs> Well, if you look, at, if I'm going to answer this question, you look at what's going on in Ukraine at the moment. Um, people adapt. Of course, I could go back. Would I want to? No. But if I did have to go back, I'd adapt. The same as people, you know, people have been exactly. forced out of things. They go, human beings adapt. That's what we do. You know, it, it is. Uh, would I want to do it? No. A hundred percent no. Could I do it? Yeah. I think we all could. I mean, it would be uh, it'd be an unusual person that couldn't. Um, well, that's I, it, that's I, it. I, I, mean, I mean, I think when all of us came out, we probably thought. Right, if things go to shit in our... I took can can I just say one thing? I'm the only one that hasn't come out yet. <laughs> That's a cockney joke. You're the guy that wanted standard. the prostate. Give him dawn. Uh, Give him dawn. <laughs> oh, yeah, the night is young. be a prostate or something really? Yeah, uh, a prostate. Prostate. Yeah. Yeah. Prospect? Well, prostate. Prostate's a bad prostate. CG, you've had two apples and you haven't stopped talking about prostates. What, what have you got something you want to tell us? If you're looking for prostate exams, hey, you're the other man. No, the prospect has the lineup. Really? I don't know what that's he's talking about. The, to be honest, that's part of the deal. Anyway, they, glove they, up, glove up. Oh, he doesn't even use a glove. He doesn't even. Use, he just sticks his finger in the Vaseline and there you. What the fuck are you talking about? It's always straight <laughs> anal with you. He said, he said, he said, two apples, three percent apples, and he's turned into. I think it's nerves with the camels. I don't, I don't know, but this is CG's not really like this. He's, 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 he's about eighty percent of the time. He's all right. Yeah, give him time. Yeah, give, give him, him time. another few years. He will be like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've only had two apples here. Yeah. And you are the prospect, and um, not me. <laughs> <laughs> right now, it's gonna, it's gonna be my question, oh. and it will be the last one. All right. And this goes individually to the three of you, and it will come back to me. And I wanted to give you a little bit of thought. Do you have a drink problem? You know I do. Do I know you don't? How often do they drink in civil? It's irrelevant whether you do it. I'm saying, do I didn't say you did. I said, do you think you have a drink problem? No, nope. don't have one. I can drink, and when I feel like it, I can stop. And I drink water. You're 100% certain of that. So you see how I drink? I'm not disagreeing with you. I'm asking I'm what you disagreeing. think yourself. Yeah. What? Right. Paul, do you think you have a drink problem? No, but uh, I think everyone who said that, even if they had a drink problem, would say they wouldn't have, didn't have a drink problem. Yeah, but yeah, um, yeah. I no, I don't, because I can go many days. And to be honest, I, I like to go out at night. And probably the first drink I'll order is a mango shake. I'm not after the drink. It's sometimes it happens if you're among friends and you're yeah, having a drink, but that's not my purpose for the night. It's uh, more conversation and having a good night. But uh, I only have to have a drink problem when you were there and you buy bloody um, right. rum towers Fucking and I've towers. got to help you drink them. <laughs> I, 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 I always regret that, but no, I'm, yeah. I, I really Do you regret that we had some good nights. Yeah. <laughs> I don't really regret it. Yeah, yeah, really. <laughs> no, I, I, I don't. I you regretted it like this. Oh, really? <laughs> do you think you have a drink problem, Ray? Oh, I definitely do not have a drink problem. You can't get enough of it. That's uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> like I like a beer every day. After you know, you, you stay at home, and, and of course you get boring at times. And you, but like you possibly, you possibly drink more than all of us. I don't think so. No, no, I don't drink more than you. Me? No, you? no, no I don't drink more than you, buddy. I don't. Yeah, you, you, but you'll come out with three exceptions on a night where you haven't had a drink. But most nights when you go out. You'll have your beers. Well, well, yeah, okay, so, so, so you're going to say I'm the. I'm, I'm not saying you're an alcoholic, but what I'm saying is you drink more than the rest of us. So that's why, so that's why you build two or three thousand every every time yeah. you go in. No, that's his bill. My bit. They always they they, they, they they always look after me on the bill front. <laughs> no, as you guys know, I, I I never drink before four o'clock. I've got a trick rule, and I'm normally home by eight thirty nine. So I might have me me take seven eight ten mix, love it, go home, hit the con. Yeah. Well, I, I find this interesting because I am starting to question whether I am an alcoholic. And before you jump in, no. I think no, no, because I think because because I, I, I think I think it's interesting what people's definitions of alcoholics are. Because you've got definitions of what you think alcoholics are, and the reason I would say Ray, I said that to you, not and what I say to all of you, because I might be, and the, the people say in the comments I am, 
But the reason I say I might be, not because it always amazes me how these people are so quick to judge when they like put a comment down, you're an alcoholic and you're this. You don't know anything about us. I have always been a social drinker. When I drink, if I've got good company, I don't know when to stop. I'll tear up. I will go and I will go and I will go and I don't want to yep. stop. Yeah. But I'm quite happy not drinking in the sense that when I, I mean, I spent three times, six six months at a time in Saudi. Never touched drop, didn't affect me. When I ended up going back to the UK, I was caring. I went <laughs> close to two years without a drink. Yeah. Didn't bother me at all. I have no interest in going out in the afternoon and having a couple of beers. Doesn't do anything. I'd rather not drink. But if I do drink, I like to large it. Yeah. Now, I would have said I'm not an alcoholic, the fact that I can go a long period of time without drinking, but I was listening to a thing on TalkSport. Um, do you remember the footballer Ray Parler, the Arsenal oh, yes, player? He reckons he's an alcoholic. And he was saying the reason he didn't think he was an alcoholic was because yeah. he could work from Monday to Thursday and then not go out. Um, but at the weekends, he'd go out on Friday and won't come back till, 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 till Monday. Mm. And he realised after a while, even though he could go periods of time yeah, without mm -hmm. alcohol, so that's what I'm saying. So, like, Ray, when I say I'm not digging you out, because I'm not sure if I am or not, mm. but you are very much at four o'clock, you have to have your drinks. And you said to me a few times, I say, why don't you go out late? And you're like, well, I couldn't, I, I because you... Because, it's, mate, as I said, mate, the simple fact that it's boring when you're home all day, I look forward to going out and meeting the guys and having a few beers. I don't think you're an alcoholic by a long stretch. No, no, because... No. Well, 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 I'm, I'm not saying I'm not. What I'm saying is it's interesting because we all treat alcohol differently. Because yeah. CG drinks a hell of a lot more now than he did before since I knew him. And it's nothing, and it's nothing to do with me because no. a couple of times I've been in the bar and you said, oh, I'm only here because you're here and I go and you're still there you, like you, the other night. You're what's, what we, you would call a typical binge drinker. You don't like the small drinks. You like to have a, a drink drink. But that doesn't make you an alcoholic. That just means that no, you like you like to have a, a good night when you're drinking. You have like to have a good company around and party. But like an alcoholic is waking up with a physical need for it. And if you can't drink, um, you will get you'll, you'll get uh, you'll, you'll get sick. You'll get the shakes. You'll have uh, you'll be going through cold turkey. So I, well, and I know, I know a few alcoholics here. We know a few alcoholics here, and they can't function to wake up in the morning and uh, and the shake and itching for a, a drink. So you're not you're not you're not you're not in any way near that. You know you know. Well, I'm glad you said that, Paul, because when I was listening to Ray Parler, I'm thinking, I tell you what. I'm not the same as you in a sense, no, I'll go out and I'll large you, but at six, seven o'clock in the morning I want to go to bed. I couldn't stay out yeah. for three days. But how can he Have you got food have you got booze in your in your in your room? No, 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 to me, an alcoholic is withdrawal from alcohol. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but the definition seems to have changed. It's yeah. like this, like it's this, like it's well, like added things. All like the, it's the all new, like the new health yeah, culture. Yeah. 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 Let's yeah. all be vegetarian. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. a toxin. Oh, that's a it. And it's like we've been drinking alcohol for at least the last five thousand years. Definition of a man it's and a woman part, is it's part of life. Yeah. I think a total drink is a long way from alcohol. Yeah, yeah well, you better know that I'm a social drinker. Yeah. And the reason I'm starting to think I'm not, not making this about me, is what I was interested in what you boys would say because. I would have said, Ray, you, you, you would be the more my traditional idea of one in the sense that you go out every day, you drink at a certain time, and you like to have a couple of... Them. I know you're not, though. I'm not saying you are. Yeah. But that was my typical impression of one. But the reality, yeah. since I've had the motorbike and I'm driving around, well, you saw me the other night. I'm in here, I have a beer and I have a water. You know, I, 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 I don't drink. Yeah. If I was an out on it, I don't I, I think mean, I could do that. Yeah. You know what I mean? You, you, you'd be, you'd be yeah, knocking about. Same with me, man. If I was, I'd, I'd be out at 10, 11 in the morning. It's like everywhere you go. Down to get red. Yeah. yeah. And, and on it, you know. But but I, I can control it. At like four o'clock, bang, six. Sometimes I might have more, I might have eight. But you know, that doesn't make it not rolling. You're having a good time. Having a good time. You're enjoying company, you know, you're enjoying the music. You know. Well, that, 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 that's, that's very reassuring to hear. One or two things is right. We're all right or we're all in denial. Who will know? But, I, <laughs> but I'm sure some of the comments that's will it. tell us. drink for a week. Tell us in denial. <laughs> 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 Until you get back from Zaboom, we won't know what you were doing over there. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I'll be too busy to think Oh, yeah. Well, there's a lot to see over there. They've got the mountains, the waterfalls, and, that, and I, 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 I know your nature, man. I'm not interested man. with that. <laughs> I got that here. Some will be cushion though. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think we'll call it to an end now, fellas. I've enjoyed this and I really have. Sorry if I was a bit stressed early on about the light and all that kind of stuff, but um been a good crack. 
Um, hopefully we'll get a bit more uh, responses to this because I'd like to do it again. I'd like to keep it being a regular thing. Um, and if it is, and if you enjoyed the video, hit the comments because, um, yeah, we will we'll, we will talk about anything. And I'll tell you something now, I know from what we've just said, you might not like all of us, you might like so much, you might not like whatever, but I do honestly believe we're honest. You know, we, we, we will be honest with our answers. They may be bollocks, but we don't intend to be bollocks. You know what I'm saying? We're not gonna we're not gonna sugarcoat anything or like you know say this, and we'll answer virtually any question. Okay, we so don't care if they like us or not. We don't give a shit. We don't give a shit. Like <laughs> no, no, I, 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 we, 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 we're in paradise. Look where you guys are. <laughs> People please us, stay at home. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Well, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, smash the like button. Subscribe. Be very grateful. Um, uh, and uh, whatever you're doing, wherever you are, stay lucky. Be lucky. Be lucky. <laughs> and stay safe. I got it the wrong way around now. He's, he's, he's thrown me off. And for the last time, I come from the UK. I am not Australian. It's amazing. I get a comment Australian. Anyway, there you go. Take care. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye.